I'm Madeline Erickson, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple plastic cup launcher. Really all you need are scissors, two stackable cups, that's really important, definitely plastic too, no paper, and two rubber bands. But depending on how it goes, you might want to save a few for extra. I also have a hole puncher. Usually they're used for paper. You probably didn't know what this was, but it's just a hole puncher. Um, because I find it easier to punch holes in the plastic cups, but it's you can use scissors as, as well. You might want to use um, adult assistance though if you are using scissors. So the first thing you have to do is you have to punch holes in one of the cups. I've already done that for time reasons, and yes, they're little dolphins. My mom's a scrapbooker, so that's what I went with. And you need four holes to make a perpendicular line. It should make a cross. So you have one here and one here and one here and one here like a plus sign after you do that you want to take your rubber band cut it so it's just a rubber string put it through one of the holes and tie a knot I would suggest tying double knots with this as well And depending on what type of cups you use, if you're using flimsical cups like these, you're probably going to want a thinner rubber band, where if you were to use heavy-duty solo cups, you're going to want probably a thicker rubber band, so that way your cup is going to launch farther. So after you've tied one end, you're just going to string it right across and pull it through that hole directly in front of the one that you just tied it to and you're gonna tie a double knot again. All right, see, it should just look like this. One through one end, here's the other end. You can cut the extra rubber band part too. And some of you may have already figured this out. The next thing you're going to do is do the exact same thing to the other side. So cut your other rubber band, string it through, double knot it, and do the same thing to the other side. Now I pull it through the last hole. Make sure it's not too loose so it's a little bit tighter. I always make one of them tighter and one of them looser in case one of them breaks, it still works because you still have one of the rubber bands. So make this one tighter. If you want, you can decorate it. This is the cup that you're gonna see. The one with the rubber bands on it is the one that you're gonna see. Now, I know you're thinking, well, why don't we punch holes in the other ones? Well, this is mainly your base. What you do is you simply slide this on there, hold it on the sides, and when you push down, I particularly used see-through cups so you could see what happens. It just tightens up the rubber bands and is able to release your paper cup. Now, I suggest using solo cups because you can get them farther, but it does the same thing.